This video is brought to you by Linode. Get a free $20 credit when you sign up using the offer code LinuxGamer19 or by using the link below. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite guy who's not your friend, so stop calling yourself that. Gardner, the Linux Gamer. This video is brought to you by Linode and by my gracious Patreon contributors. My Patreon contributors, the, the top tier members, get special shout outs at the beginning of each video. And this video is brought to you by Will Taylor. Thank you, Will. Your support is truly humbling. So today we're talking about Nextcloud because by golly, I've had so many people ask me about, uh, you know, installing Nextcloud. Like what's the best, what's the easiest, what's the fastest way to get a Nextcloud up and running? And you know what? There are a lot of different ways to do Nextcloud. So I figure let's talk about how to get Nextcloud set up the easy way. I fully expect that there are going to be some people down in the comments who are like, this is not the way you do it. Don't listen to them. All right, trust your old pal Gardner here, your old friend Gardner. This is the best option if you're a beginner at doing uh, server administration, or if you have absolutely no experience with server administration, this is the best way to do it. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is um, some kind of Linux box. You'll probably want to use Ubuntu because this is going to use the Snap version of Nextcloud. The Snap version of Nextcloud despite what some people might say, is actually fantastic. Uh, it contains everything that you need. The, the web server, the SQL server, uh, everything that you need is included within this singular package and it's all pre-configured and ready for you to use. It's just ready to deploy and go. That's super freaking convenient. Um, so if you have, a, you know, a, 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 a server laying around, if you have a, if you have an old PC or a laptop that you're not using, um, you can definitely, definitely do this using just this, this bare minimum setup. But if you want to follow along at home and do exactly like I'm doing, then you can actually use Linode. All right. This is what I'm doing. I'm using Linode's Weblish console. It's, it's direct access to your Linode server over SSH and uh, it handles all of the pre-configuration for you. So if you're not familiar with setting up a, a Linode server, it's very simple. Just create an account and we'll walk through the process together. Once you're in the Linode manager, just click create at the top and choose Linode. These instructions are going to be using Ubuntu 18.10. So go ahead and click that bad boy right there. From here, you'll want to pick a region that's within proximity to you. I'm on the eastern seaboard of the United States, so I'm going to click Newark, New Jersey. You'll need to pick a plan. Uh, let's go with the Linode 4 gigabyte. That's 4 gigs of RAM and 80 gigabytes of storage, but you can honestly pick whichever one you want. Then you'll want to put in a name for your server. I'll just choose uh, Nextcloud because that's what we're doing here. And enter a super secure and super secret password. Now just mash that create button and once it's done booting, just click the launch console button. Okay, so now, you know, I, I'm assuming that you've got some kind of hardware set up uh, that's gonna be running Nextcloud here. So we're just gonna move on to the next step. Keep in mind that I am running root here, okay? Uh, if you wanna run root like I'm doing, type in sudo su, so that's S-U-D-O space S-U, and then uh, you wanna, you'll, that'll make you a root user, or you can prepend each of these commands with sudo, right? So instead of running snap install nextcloud, you would do sudo snap install nextcloud. All right, pretty straightforward, right? So this is the first command you're gonna run, snap install nextcloud. This just installs the prepackaged Nextcloud snappy image that contains everything. Installing Nextcloud via Snap is so simple and so easy and elegant, and I really like it. So the next thing you want to do once it's done installing the snappy package is uh, just make sure that you're running the snappy package and then head over to your web browser. So now what you want to do is type in your IP address. If you're on Linode, you'll find your IP address in the Linode manager right here. If you're running Nextcloud on your local machine, you can just type in localhost in the address bar and it'll come up. Uh, if it's running on another piece of hardware on your local network, you'll need to find the local IP address of that device. So it's, it might be something like 192.168.1.2 or, or whatever you have your network infrastructure as. Keep in mind also that if you're running your uh, machine locally 
on your own network, you're probably going to have to open up port 80 and port 443 on your router or your modem in order to actually have it be accessible outside of your local network. Uh, you'll have to set up port forwarding for those ports. Um, that's kind of outside the scope of this video, and it would be kind of a nightmare to explain how to do it because every router and every modem is different. So what I would recommend you do is type in how to enable port forwarding for your router model, uh, and f you should be able to find instructions pretty, pretty simply. If you get everything set up right and you found your IP address, if you see the screen, you're good to go. What you want to do now is create your admin account. It can be the account that you plan on using for your next cloud usage, or it can be something like admin. Just ensure that you're using a secure password. But now you have your next cloud server set up. And I mean, you could hypothetically stop here if you wanted. I wouldn't recommend it, but we'll get to that. So there's now only three more things to do. The first thing is, that you'll wanna set up a domain name for your IP address. This is something so that you can type in like myawesomenextcloudserver.com and you can be taken right there. You can set up your Nextcloud uh, apps on your phone and such, and all of it can be pointed at that domain name rather than having to remember what your you know WAN IP address is. How you do this is going to vary by uh, the registrar that you've used to actually buy your domain name. So I've actually purchased most of my domains through GoDaddy. That's a long story. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and it's it's not broke right now. So what I wanted to do was point a subdomain at my Linode server. So what I ended up doing was configuring an A record in my DNS settings that pointed nextcloud.heavyelement.io to the Linode server's IP address. What you're seeing here is nextcloud is the host name, which is the uh, subdomain, and then the IP address goes in that field. So uh, you'll want to make sure that if you're running on a local machine that you have a static IP address set up uh, or you have enabled dynamic DNS, which is a whole other ball of wax and outside the scope of this video as well. Depending on which registrar you've used, like I said, it's gonna be different for setting up and configuring your DNS records. So I would recommend uh, looking up the tutorials. Most uh, registrars worth their salt are going to have documentation on how to modify uh, your DNS records. So uh, you can also point your um, name servers at Linode and they can handle a lot of that for you, um, but I haven't done that, so I can't speak for that. So at this point, what you want to do is make sure that Nextcloud expects to be accessed from the new domain name that you've set up. So you'll want to use Nano or some other text editor that you're comfortable with uh, and edit this file. So now you want to find the line that reads trusted underscore domains and add a new entry in the array. Uh, you'll want to type exactly what you see here a one without quotes, equals sign, greater than sign, apostrophe, domain name, apostrophe, and you can add a comma for good measure. You don't necessarily need a comma, but it's just good practice. But you don't wanna change anything else. You don't wanna change anything else in this file. Just save it and quit. If you're using Nano, you can just hit Control X and then type Y and hit Enter, and then you're saved. So you could stop here if you wanted, you know, if you're, if you're tired and you don't want to continue any further to the last step, you could stop. I don't recommend it though. Uh, Nextcloud will complain a little bit in the settings here. If you look at the basic settings here, uh, and they'll say, you don't have SSL enabled. Uh, so go ahead and fix that, bro. And it's very simple to get SSL in, uh, set up. So let's just go ahead and finish up, shall we? So what you want to do is type in nextcloud.enables-https space let's-encrypt and type in your email address and the domain name and you're fully good to go. If you have any errors, if you have any problems, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, let us know in the forums and we can give you a hand. Uh, it's, it's, this is pretty straightforward stuff and you shouldn't encounter many, if any, problems doing this. But yeah. Just go to your domain name now and sign in and you are good to go. That's how simple it is. It's so easy to get Nextcloud set up. And um, it's, it's, I mean, they've made it so simple that uh, even a caveman can do it like me. 
So from here, you can just like download the Nextcloud app for your smartphone um, and start syncing photos and and, repl- and starting to replace the proprietary Google apps in your life. Or you can uh, start messing around with Nextcloud apps proper, uh, going in and 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 finding uh, apps that extend the functionality of your new Nextcloud instance, which is something that I'm going to talk about in a in a later video. But that's where we're at right now. You're all set up. You're ready to go. And I hope that you enjoy your digital free and your peace of mind as much as I have. So I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to Linode, my sponsor for this video. I pitched them this idea just a few days ago and they were immediately receptive to it. They said, yes, absolutely. We think that that's right up our alley. And uh, so I'm just super gratified to be working with them again. Linode offers a 40 gigabit data center grade connection as well as 24 seven availability with a 99.9% uptime. Automatic redundancy options for backing up your server are available, and not to mention the peace of mind of knowing that your VPS is secure and private to you and you alone. Linode truly is an awesome Linux loving company, and I am super happy to be working with them again. So if you want to support the show and get a free $20 credit while you're doing so, head over to linode.com slash Linux gamer and click that create your account button. It's that simple. You get a free $20 credit. You can help the show out uh, and you get something for free. And, And I think that that's fantastic. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link down below. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.